Hello everybody and welcome to the next Allegro tutorial. Um sorry I never made one in a while. Um I've been working on my personal project and I've had basketball and stuff. But anyways, let's get right into it. So as uh, most of you've been asking, you guys have been wanting a collision tutorial. So um this is what I'm gonna be teaching you guys, so you should be very excited. Okay, so uh forget about this stuff at the top probably get rid of it right now okay so what we what we do is regularly um I include Allegro yeah and then now we have a collision function alright now I'll explain more about this later just look at the four parameters there's in x y in x2 and y2 now I'm just gonna clarify what this is doing um this x and y is for the first box right we're gonna have two boxes and x2 and y2 are for the second box okay so first box and second box okay so right down here in main we have our initialization and we create our bitmap and stuff and then this is the location of the first box and this is the location of the second box and then this is our game loop and uh... we have the basic stuff um... the press escape is done and then this is moving the first box and this is moving the second box then we have our collision um, function and we substitute the parameters so this is for the first box and this is for the second box and then we draw the boxes um, to the screen right to the buffer and then we put it to the screen and everything else you know if you watch my tutorials right so now let's go back to the collision now this is all collision is it's not that hard like, it's really not a hard thing to do. So let me really explain what this does, okay? So, we have two boxes, okay? So, as you know, if you watch my earlier tutorials, the top left of the box is considered X1, Y1. And let me move this, to, oh, sorry, X1, Y1. Okay, whatever. So, this is X1, Y1. And uh, on the other box, this is X1 and Y1, and then this would be X2, Y2 at the bottom, and then this would be X2, Y2. And think of these as two separate boxes. So this is one box over here, and this is the next box over there. So what we want to do is that if this edge hits this edge, then it says a collision, right? And then if like this edge, say this box is on that side then if that edge hits that edge then it's a collision and if the bottom were to touch the top then it's a collision and if the top were to touch the bottom then there's a collision so then what we do is we have a collision um function and notice is type boolean so we're going to return true or return false okay so if we return false then there's no collision and if we return true then there is a collision so what we did is that if we say that if x plus this is testing for not non collision okay this is testing to see if it's not touching anything so we say if x plus 10 so um if we look down here basically x plus 10 is like the x2 in the rect in the first rectangle right so if x plus 10 is less than x2 okay so remember x2 is a variable for x1 in this in the second box okay now I know it's gonna get confusing but just try and follow me here and if you don't know what x2 and x1 and all those stuff mean then watch my early tutorials so then if x plus 10 is less than x2 so if this is less than this then there's no collision right and as you know this means or so or x plus 10 is less than x2 I mean the y plus 10 is less than y2 so y plus 10 is down here so if this is above this line right and then we're checking to see if, if x is greater than x2 plus 10 so if this side if this side right here is greater than this side and then we um, check to see if y is greater than y2 plus 10 so if this side is below this side then if all those uh, if none of those are true 
then you return false, right? Else there will be a collision, right? So if if a uh, um say uh the box, right? We move towards here and it hits this edge, right? Um, that means it's not less than y2, right? And then the box since it's level with the uh, this box, right? Then this thing is not true either. And then x2 is greater than y2 plus 10, that's not true either. And then y is greater than y2 plus 10, that's not true either. So then it'll go to the else statement and then it will display collision. So just to show you um, what, what I mean, I'm going to run this program. And I'm going to put this code in the description. So if you don't get what I'm trying to say or you want to study the code for yourself, it's going to be in the description. Okay? So so now we have two boxes now if it's laggy for you I understand because this is not a game screen recorder so I'm moving the first box and when you get close it says collision now as you can see it's not I exactly on it like you have to make some modifications but as you can see when it gets close it, yells collision, it goes collision now if, if I were to move it then there's no collision so let's test the bottom collision okay collision Okay, so if we move the box, sorry. Now let's test um it to the side. Collision. And then let's go above it. Collision. And as you can see, that's how you do collision in your games. Now you might be asking like how can you use this and, and implement it into a game? Um so now I'm gonna be showing you. Uh so Let's make a new variable and let's call it int direction and let's make okay let's make a different so direction one so let's put it as 360 degrees because if you look if you know um trigonometry in circles um at 360 degrees it's going it's facing right so we're gonna say it's facing right and then direction 2 is 180 which means it's facing left right and since it's a square you don't really know which the way it's facing but I'm choosing it as an example okay so right now we're gonna we're checking for collision so instead of displaying this annoying message um, this is gonna return true and return false right so uh, we can make another function so uh, let it collide and x and y and x2 and uh wait actually make them references so and y so reference uh variables because we're gonna be we're probably gonna be changing values inside this function okay so now we have to say uh or actually we we don't have to make a function we can make a function but for this purpose i'm not going to make the function so uh we're going to check for collision so we're going to say collision uh x y x2 y2 right is equal to true right so if they have collided, uh, uh, hold on, I'm gonna pause the video for a second. Okay, now so I'm paused. Uh, so we're saying if the collision is true, okay. So if direction is equal, if direction one is equal to 360, then uh, x minus equals 5 okay so uh when we when we do this uh we will normally change the direction so we'll say direction equals 360 direction 1 equals 360 and direction 1 equals 180 so we'll just do it for right and left now because I'm running out of time okay so uh so we're saying if direction 1 equals 360 then y uh, minus equals 5 and else if 
or it could be also for if direction equals 80 then uh plus then you will add 5 so then basically if they if the box is moving right and it hit into the box then it will basically stop moving then if it was moving left and it hit the box then it will stop moving so just to show you an example Okay, so let's move this. And as you can see, I can't move right anymore. And let's go from the left. You can't move anymore until you're out of this way. Like when you're out of this way, then you can move left. But if you're in a collision way, then you can't move anymore. And that's basically how you make collision in Allegro and, and or in any other graphical user interface. So thanks for watching. And if you want to know more about it, um you can ask me and I can show you other stuff um just tell me what you want in my next video so that's it and bye